When purchasing a new television, you have a lot of choices to make. What size, what brand, what model? Unfortunately, once you've pulled the trigger on what TV you want, you still have many more decisions to make. One of the most important yet often overlooked is choosing the right HDMI cable for your application. What a lot of people don't realize is not all these cables are made the same and choosing the wrong one could hinder the performance of your new investment. So I'm here to break down everything you need to know about HDMI cables in another segment of in layman's terms. To help illustrate the differences in HDMI cables, I'm going to be using AudioQuest's full HDMI cable line. They make things a little easier by separating the different quality of cable by color. These are not color options. Each one is internally unique. But before we even get into that, there are a few things about current HDMI cables that you need to know. As televisions continuously evolve with bigger, brighter screens, more pixels, HDR metadata, 4K and 8K content, more and more information is being transferred and requiring greater amounts of bandwidth. As a result, more and more manufacturers are slowly upgrading from HDMI 2.0 to 2.1. The full benefits of 2.1 are still a few more years away from being mainstream but 4K content is becoming more and more available, even with streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime. While there is still not an abundance of 8K content yet, there will be soon, especially for gamers. Both the new Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 will be able to support 8K content, and they will be producing 8K games. The good news is that HDMI 2.1 is backward compatible, so if your television is HDMI 2.1, you can still use the 2.0 components. So when choosing your television, make sure you pay close attention to which version it supports to determine which HDMI cable you need. When selecting an HDMI cable, you also want to be aware of some of the misnomers out there. The biggest being the cables that claim to be 8K certified. As of now, there is no certified standard for 8K. While I was at CES this past January, the HDMI licensing administrator announced a mandatory certification program for all ultra-high-speed HDMI cables to ensure support for both 4K and 8K video, as well as HDR, eARC, and all other HDMI 2.1 features. This is an expansion of the current existing certification program and hopes to have the first certifications issued before the end of June. Do not be fooled by cables currently claiming to have any kind of 8K certification. Same goes for HDMI 2.1. Make sure that they say they are compatible with the new potential features of HDMI 2.1 but there is no set standards for 2.1 certification yet. Okay, so now even though they are not certified, almost all ultra high speed HDMI cables do support 8K content, just like all the AudioQuest cables here. Now, some of you might be asking, well, if they all support 8K, why not just buy the cheapest one? Well, as I mentioned earlier, each one of these cables is distinctly different, so now I'm gonna break them down individually, starting with the Pearl. The Pearl is basically the base model of AudioQuest HDMI cables. It uses solid long grain copper conductors allowing for a smoother, clearer sound than cables that use standard oxygen free high conductivity copper. The long grain has fewer oxides within the conducting material, resulting in less impurities and much better performance. The Pearl uses a foamed polyethylene insulation. Wire insulation absorbs energy, some of that energy is stored and released causing distortion. Since air absorbs next to no energy and the foam polyethylene has a high air content, less stored energy means less distortion. At this point, you might have noticed the arrows that AudioQuest puts on either side of their cables. All audio cables are directional. AudioQuest listens to every batch of conductors to determine the correct direction. Now, you can plug them in either way and it will still work, but following the arrows ensures that you get the best sound possible. Next, we have the Forest HDMI cable. The Forest features solid 0.5% silver conductors. Silver plated conductors are ideal for high frequency applications like HDMI audio. Because the audio signal has such high frequency, it travels more on the surface of the conductor. The surface of the conductor is made of a high purity silver, so the performance is close to that of a solid silver cable, but at a more reasonable price point. The Forest is wrapped in a hard cell foam insulation. This is very similar to the polyethylene but is nitrogen injected to create air pockets. Because nitrogen, like air, does not absorb nor release any energy to or from the conductor, distortion is released. 
The hard cell is also a much stiffer material, providing a more stable relationship throughout the whole length of the cable, cutting down on less possibility for distortion or damage. Stepping up from the forest is the Cinnamon HDMI. The Cinnamon's conductors increase the silver plating to 1.25%, providing clearer, cleaner, high-frequency signals. For this HDMI, AudioQuest uses the same hard cell foam as its little brother Forest. However, they added a single metal layer of their patented noise dissipation system to the mix. This layer helps reduce and dissipate a lot of the RF energy that can cause modulation of the signal and distortion, giving you a much clearer sound. They've also added a protective nylon weave wrap to help better protect the internals. The Cinnamon, the Forest, and the Pearl all make use of active frequency equalization to ensure its full 4K high def performance from 10 to 15 meters. Moving on to the next HDMI cable, the Chocolate. Very similar to the previous model, using the same hard cell foam insulation and single metal layer noise dissipation system. The main difference in the Chocolate is its conductors, bumping up to 2.5% silver plating for further reduction of distortion and jitter. After that, we have the Carbon HDMI. This cable has added 5% silver plating to its solid core conductors for superior distortion reduction over its predecessor. Again, it uses hard cell foam insulation to ensure its critical single pair geometry, minimizing distortion. In this cable though, they've added a carbon-based three-layer noise dissipation system, which combines metal and carbon-loaded synthetics. Those synthetics have the ability to absorb and reflect most of the noise or RF energy before it can distort the signal of sound. After the carbon, it's time for vodka. And now I'm going to show you the Vodka HDMI cable. The Vodka HDMI really steps up the silver plating on its silver core conductors, all the way up to 10%. Again, I just want to point out that silver is a far better material than copper for conducting, especially for high frequency applications. The more silver mixed in equals cleaner signal. The Vodka, like the chocolate, also utilizes the carbon-based three-layer noise dissipation system to help drain any excess RF noise. A step up from the vodka is coffee. The coffee HDMI cable uses 10% silver plated solid core conductors, same as the vodka. But in this cable, AudioQuest introduces their 72 volt dielectric bias system. What this does is provide a drop in the perceived noise floor and an increase in dynamic contrast. Or to put more simply, it preserves all the subtle nuances and textures of the audio signal. The DBS also includes an RF trap which ensures the radio frequency noise will not be induced into the signal conductors from the DBS field elements. The coffee, like its predecessor, also incorporates the carbon-based three-layer noise dissipation system. Finally, we have the Diamond HDMI. Sitting at the top of the line, the Diamond uses their highest performance, lowest distortion, perfect surface silver conductors. Perfect surface technology applied to extreme purity silver provides unprecedented clarity and dynamic contrast. Silver minimizes the distortion caused by the grain boundaries of other metals, giving far cleaner and clearer sound. Combine that with the dielectric bias system and the three-layer carbon-based noise dissipation system, and you have the cleanest, clearest audio possible through an HDMI cable. So what does this all mean for the consumer? Well, that depends on individual needs and preferences. The higher you go up on the scale, the cleaner your audio is going to be. If your ear is not that fine-tuned to subtle nuances, then you might not need a vodka or diamond. Maybe you plan on adding speakers for surround sound in the future. You probably want to get an HDMI cable that's a little beefier than what the Pearl or Forest have to offer. Another thing you need to take into consideration when choosing an HDMI cable is the longer the cable, the thicker the cable. In order for the signal to travel farther lengths, the internal wiring gets thicker. The thicker cables get harder to bend. So before you decide on your cable, Make sure you map out where your cable is going and its route to get there. Some of the longer, higher quality cables might have difficulty making a 90 degree turn. Now, cables like the Vodka, Coffee, and Diamond are only available in lengths up to three meters or just under 10 feet. Chocolate and Carbon have a max length of five meters, while Pearl, Forest, and Cinnamon are available up to 15 meters or almost 50 feet. I know that when you've already spent so much on a new TV or projector that it is hard to justify another expense. But a new television is only as good as its signal. So make sure you take your time, know the layout of your setup, and decide what kind of quality best suits your individual needs. At High Def, we have a large variety of HDMI cables, including all the AudioQuest ones we showed you here today. 
So if you're interested in one, make sure you go to our website. And hey, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe, and you too can enjoy the high-def lifestyle.